Well, hello there. I hope you're all well. You're amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. You're looking amazing. You must have had a good weekend. It's just a pity the weekends don't last as long as we want them to. They go they go by too quick. Anyway, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Gonsalves family. As they have released a statement reference the the latest court hearing. And this and it's an interesting one to go over. So we're gonna go over it together. So we do it. Let's have a look at it. Let's get frustrated together. I'd like to tell you I'm happy to be here, but why start with an untruth, Judge Hitler? That was his opening statement. And the Gonsalves go on to say, we wish to express our gratitude to Judge Hitler for his candor, as we believe this case is progressing in a favourable direction. Now, based on the fact that the Gonsalves family have done nothing but fucking whinge about delays in the process up to now, this is the first time they've actually had something positive to say. And um, despite there being potential delays, they are believing that it's progressing in a favourable direction. I'd like to clarify exactly what they feel by favourable direction. I hope that they just mean that in terms of the trial is going to move forward now, even though surely it was going to move forward when it was in Moscow, Idaho, it was still moving forward. It was just moving forward slowly, but we had a date. We knew when the trial was going to happen. But in this situation, we actually don't know when the trial is going to happen, and it could actually not be until September. And again, the Gonsalves family have consistently moaned about delays. So progressing in a favourable direction, I, I question what they actually mean by that statement. Maybe you guys can let me know down below what you think. Is it just that they believe that... It's it's going to move forward, even though, again, I can't see it would have moved forward previously, and they had a massive problem with it. Um, while we acknowledge that delays may occur, we are reassured that decisions will be made swiftly and thoughtfully. It was disheartening to see the descendant in casual... Descendant... <laughs> Freudian slip. The defendant in casual attire... And we hope the prosecution will address this issue as promised. Address what issue? Why is it an issue of Brian Koberger being in casual attire? I, d I don't know what the problem is. The, the, the only reason that the, the way that somebody is dressed will upset people is if they think that they can leverage the perception people will have of somebody when they're dressed as someone who looks guilty. If you are dressed in prison, in, in prison attire and people look at you, you will get... It's like this, isn't it? If you walked into a... Say you was going to buy something, right? And there was a guy in a suit and there was a guy in an orange jumpsuit with prisoner written on the back of it. Which one would you be more likely to approach to help you? I'm guessing it would be the guy in the suit. And that's because clothing gives people a perception. And the fact that the Gonsalves are so fucking concerned about his attire is because they know that people will feel a certain way about somebody when they see him. Now, if they think that the prosecution have got all their ducks in a row and that this case is nailed shut, nothing to concern about, then they wouldn't give a fuck what he is wearing. Not at all. Wouldn't, wouldn't even come into the mind. Fuck him. Let him wear what he, want to let, what he wants to wear. Fuck him, mate. Ain't going to change the outcome. He's guilty. They're going to prove he's guilty. He'll just look better when we, when we, when we tell him. Just don't get it. Today we find ourselves in a society characterised by significant division, making it increasingly, increasingly difficult for individuals to find common ground. I do agree with that statement. It is difficult for individuals to find common ground. Media sensationalising our politicians to engage in trivial debates, posing irrelevant topics, never daring to address meaningful domestic issues, like why are our children being killed in their sleep, 
what are we going to do about all these violent crimes, mass murders, school shooters, and fentanyl overdoses? Which this statement here, I can completely get behind. Um, one of the few times that I've been able to get behind something, but this is right. We see it in our country. We've got a situation now with Keir Starmer. It, we thought was bad. It's now turned out that the gifts and stuff that he's receiving are twice as bad as what they were. We've got people who are hardcore Labour members who are turning the back, and they're even turning around and saying that Labour are just interested in power and money. They're not interested in the British people whatsoever. Uh, so politicians, this is it's the same thing, right wing, left wing, same plane, mate. They're all travelling in the same direction, lying in their own pockets. Families like ours are engaged in profound struggles, battles of life and death, the ongoing conflict between good and evil, and the relentless quest for justice against inequity. Right. Yet, even within the halls of justice, some attempt to obscure the truth in action under the guise of virtue. As a parent of a murdered child, nothing is more reprehensible than suppressing facts in the name of due process. So again, this statement here, right? So this, and I may have got this completely wrong, but this is almost like they are trying to say, we know something, we know that you have access to what you know, and you should be letting people know. This is going to give people the impression that they know more. And I can't keep getting my head around the fact that how are these people being allowed to say the stuff that they're saying with absolutely no penalty? I, I, I can't work it out. As a parent of a murder child, nothing is more reprehensible than suppressing facts in the name of due process. I don't... What are they getting at? What are they trying to get at in terms of suppression of facts in the name of due process? So that is flat out saying there are facts in this case and you're saying you've got to keep them quiet because of the due process. As if you are you are trying to say we know something. It's a fucking dangerous game to play. Very dangerous game. And I, I don't know how this is going to end. But they are skating very, very close to the bone in terms of in in terms of Brian. If Brian Koberger is guilty, if he is guilty, if he walks, this family will be the cause of it. This family will be the cause of a guilt of a guilty man walking. Kaylee J. Gonsalves will not be silenced, nor for the sake of a monstrous murderer's image. The world will hear her cries for justice through those who can speak on her behalf. No individual possesses the authority to stifle the truth regarding our fallen angel, Kaylee Jade. We will steadfastly oppose all who seek to diminish her memory. We are profoundly grateful for the thoughts and prayers extended to us. To those who have contributed, you are a true blessing to our family, our army of love. So again, this bit here... She will not be silenced, not for the sake of a monstrous murderer's image. So, what are they talking about here? Are they talk because in one hand it's like they're talking about his attire. It's his attire. They're, they're so concerned about what he's wearing, and then down here it's like she won't be silent. Won't be silenced, not for the sake of the monstrous murderer's image. So, is it that? They feel that him not wearing a jumpsuit is... That's how I get... Because the only other thing there, what that could be, is that there's some other monstrous murderer out there who did this crime and has been hidden. <laughs> that's how that could read. But in all honesty, it seems like they're trying to say that Brian Koberg, a wearing casual attire, is not respecting Kaylee Gonsalves. And, and trying to uphold his image. Well, it, it's not about upholding an image. It's about him not being seen as guilty and then later on being able to utilise that in his request for an appeal, saying that there was pre-judgment. We will steadfastly oppose all who seek to diminish her memory. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? You know, is this all really about cloven? Is it all really about cloven? The evidence should be the thing that convicts this guy. Not being prejudgmental, not feeling that he is, or people thinking that he's guilty because of what he's wearing. It shouldn't matter what he wears. 
And like I say, I don't know what they're trying to say in some of this, but when they're trying to say that there is things that are being withheld and kicking off about it and moaning about it, in my opinion, they need to stop talking and they need to sack their lawyer because their lawyer isn't doing a very good job of explaining to them the risk that they pose to this case. That's my opinion. Let me know down below yours. I'll catch you all tomorrow.